Let's take a look at the new Scene Manager capability to be released in AGI 32 version 14, approximately January of 2013, hopefully. What you are going to see involves assigning luminaires to channels, which are then assigned to scenes. This allows AGI 32 users to set up a variety of lighting scenarios in one file. Very cool. Very cool. Let's try it. Here I have a simple conference room with some down lights on the perimeter and some pendants over the conference table. I want to see the lighting analysis in three different ways. I want to see it with only the pendants on at 100% and with only the down lights on and dimmed at 50%. That would be like video mode. And with everything on all at 100%. To do this, we'll need to use the new scene manager. Now, here's the scene manager up here. Before I actually start doing this, let me enforce that the use of scenes and channels is completely optional. By default, all luminaires are on at 100% and in the default scene. So this is AGI 32 exactly as it has always been. So you don't need to use this capability. However, if you want to do some cool stuff, let's create the three scenes I mentioned. Okay, here's the new scene manager. You see, there's no scenes, and here's all the luminaires that are currently shown as unassigned to any channels. So, let's create the scenes. I can come over here to the menu and add scenes. And I'm going to type them in and just separate them by a comma, or I can do them one at a time. It's uh, whatever you like. So, let's create video mode, general lighting, that'll be everything on at 100%, and then how about task lighting, for lack of other things to call it at the moment. Okay, so I've now created three scenes as shown here. Okay, I don't have any channels just yet, so we can do this from the menu there's a, a whole bunch of different ways to create channels and and this can get oh just about as complicated as you want to make it but let's go ahead and use a shortcut and just create channels by luminaire label okay so my luminaires right now are labeled down lights and fluorescence so I have two channels and right now all I need to do is if I select the general lighting scene I want the down lights and the fluorescence all on and dimming at 100%. So we're good with that. Let's go to task lighting. In this scene, I want only the fluorescence on, so I'll uncheck the down lights. Okay. And I don't need to worry about unassigned because everything now is assigned. Okay. They're assigned to channels called down lights and fluorescence. And then I'll go to video mode. And in video mode, I don't want the fluorescence on. I want the down lights on, but I want the down lights dimmed at 50%. Okay, so I've actually done it. And this is cool. Right now I've got the, uh, the program or the scene manager set in video mode, so if I click OK, it's actually going to set things in video mode. So you really can't tell what's going on here very well other than the, the fluorescence are removed. And I actually made an interesting error. It's not an error, but it, it, there's a couple of ways to do this. So what I did was I actually turned the fluorescence in video mode off entirely by disabling them, which means it removes them from the uh, the scene completely. Um, what I really wanted to do was switch them off. And that way they're still there, but as you can see they're all dotted as if they've been switched off, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this. If I go to render mode, I could do this in, in model mode too. Um, right now we have video mode in the scene manager. So I'm going to go ahead and compute this. And here's video mode with the down lights dimmed at 50%. Now, what's important is you may need to go to display properties bring that up into the video and you may need to apply a maximum luminance point so that we can compare the renderings of all the different scenes. If you haven't done this before um, this is a technique that allows you to compare uh, 
multiple different lighting scenarios all based on the same maximum luminance of the rendered image so that's worth doing okay so what can I do I can go back up to scene manager and I can switch from video mode to task lighting and I can recompute now the down lights are missing here so it looks like I did the same thing as I actually removed them from the scene as opposed to just switching them off this is in development and I'm kind of a rookie so <laughs> so here we compare we can compare this scene to the previous scene also notice another new feature in version 14 check out that shadow under the table on top of the texture so we've actually gotten better at modulating uh, luminance patterns on top of textures for version 14 so that's quite cool now the other thing is we can come back and go to the general lighting mode and I need to recompute it again now currently with version 14 we're not actually storing the calculated images for each scene so you actually have to recompute when you change scenes eventually AGI 32 will be able to hold all the scenes uh, and you'll be able to toggle back and forth between them without having to recalculate but you can't actually do that now so again notice the nice shadow under there and here's our general lighting scene so you actually have three images and can compare those um, by just switching scenes so extremely cool let's look at a couple of other examples so here's another example we have a small office situation with the hallway let's see what we've done in scene manager well created scenes for emergency only and for general lighting and the channels that are assigned are emergency and then by room essentially so let's go ahead and click into the emergency only we have the emergency channel enabled everything else is switched off and emergency is dimmed at 20 20 percent let's see how this looks let's go to render mode and compute it okay so here we have our emergency lighting situation only emergency luminaires are on let's change to general lighting and recompute here we have everything on pretty neat huh let's take a look at another example here's a sports field complex let's look at scene manager well we've got a scene called game and a scene called practice channels of luminaires that play only for games game only and then luminaires that play for both practice and games so in the practice scene we have the game only luminaires switched off in the game scene both are switched on so let's look at the practice scene we can see the luminaires that are dotted are actually switched off and in this case we're running the calculations in direct mode with AutoCalc so we can switch scenes between game and practice and have it automatically recalculate that's all very quick and easy so there's yet another example there are dozens of ways to use scene manager and I'm sure you're going to figure out something that probably we haven't thought of so we really want to hear your feedback.